Hey, 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 welcome to Oslo. This is where the whale sharks are. You have to go through a registration, you have to go through an orientation. They teach you how to behave around the whales. Um, so that I guess you don't get spooked, they don't get spooked. And you do the right things. You register up here with them. Uh, they're very protective over the whales because this is their income. Uh, it's very important for them. So you have an audience to orientate yourself and then uh, they teach you what to do after that. Um, well, sharks and uh, how to act around them. And supposed to keep, you know, like two, three feet away and not touch them and things like that. And they load us up in the boats. And there's quite a number of boats out there. So I must tell that they do feed these guys to bring them in. They're here naturally, but they make a shrimp paste um, similar to what they eat now when they're in the wild out here. So it brings them in closer to everybody. And they can keep circling with these little outside boats here you see. And they'll keep feeding them and keep them engaged. Now this is it. This is where they are. Um, they may not look real big here, but some of them are 20 feet long. Sometimes they have up to 10 of them out here. They've learned that these guys are good income for the area. So they protect them uh, very zealously. We have some though that people of course mess around and get too close to them but they actually will get close to you because they don't care. Um, these whale sharks are just looking for their food and they're not going to hurt you. I mean the only thing that might hurt you is that they spook and maybe fin off real quickly to get away but I, these guys are so calm it's unbelievable. So you work your way towards them and get your pictures and of course you got to get pictures of all the goose out there including myself. And the whale sharks are really kind of slow movers. Um, they don't get in a rush about anything. But they are big, and they know they're big. So they're not really shy around things. The boat, they follow it around getting food. People, it's not even a disturbance for them that I saw. It's more like they wanted to come up and touch up to you. But they really don't care, they're after the food. I mean, if you sit there and look at these guys real close, or closer than a video like here, they're really, really pretty. Um, each of those markings on the side are unique, so they can track down each one of them. They know each one of them, they probably have names for each one of them. They deserve to be saved. I mean, they, they're harmless, and they don't hurt anything. They just eat small plankton and shrimp that they find. Of course you can't dive too deep because you got those flash jackets on again. It looks more like an ad for what a great white shark would come eat, right? With his legs hanging down there. Yummy yummy.
We do have a few clowns that want to say hi. Uh, Glody May and Let Let. They got to go down there and show you that they had a good time with it too. It's kind of weird. I never noticed it till now. Let Let never heard a life jacket on. She's really well swimming. She hadn't known really. I don't think that much about it. Once again, you can see how big that guy is next to her. Uh, she's about five, five two. Um, really big. But anyway, they just wanted to say hi. It's cool. 